हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग डी स्टूडेंट टुडे वी शाल बी गोइंग टू स्टडी आवर 1.6 लेसन ऑफ एन इंग्लिश इन टू द वाइल्ड रिटर्न बाय किरण पुरंदारे सो डी स्टूडेंट इन दिस लेसन वी विल कम अक्रॉस टूवर्ड्स द राइटर इनकाउंटर्स विथ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वाइल्ड एनिमल्स लेपर्ड्स स्लॉथ बियर्स ओके बिल्यू बुल्स सो ओके सो द राइटर ही एज Uh, went he went into the forest and uh, whatever he saw uh, in the forest so he has shared his own experience so wild animals uh, forest is the uh, home of the wild animals but in today's scenario if you see uh, most of the species are about to extinct in the forest okay uh, for example uh, white tiger of uh, uh, bengal Uh, is it is uh, about to extinct okay so it is species are very less now uh, found nowadays so the writer is very much concerned about the wild animals and uh, he is very much concerned about the protection of the environment and uh, when he went into the forest uh, he saw the uh, leopards okay he saw the uh, sloth bear okay and langurs uh, when he went into the forest so what happened in the first message he said that uh, i took uh, one uh, notebook in that notebook i started writing down the names of the uh, birds and animals okay whatever uh, means incident happened in the forest whatever he has seen in the forest that he started jotting down in his notebook so he took the uh, shelter into the hide and uh, from there he started uh, no noting down the names of the different types of avifauna avifauna is a name of the birds different types of birds so he disguised himself camouflage camouflage it means disguise he disguised himself into the uh, grass of the uh, forest so for example you might have seen uh, when the battle takes place when the war takes place so at that time the soldiers uh, okay so what they are doing uh, they are putting the grass on their body so that uh, the enemy could not uh, means find out uh, them uh, okay they could, could not taste them so in uh, in that uh, green grass suppose the uh, area is uh, totally green so what will happen uh, they will put the green grass over their body and in this way uh, they uh, they disguise themselves so that the enemy Uh, could not uh, notice them so similarly here the writer he disguised himself camouflage is a tactics uh, of the war in the battle uh, you you may uh, you might have been seen uh, okay camouflage is a disguise technique so he disguised himself uh, from from whom from the wild animals uh, oh, so that the wild animals could not attack him so he uh, the writer he camouflage and he was alone like a fox he said that i was alone in the forest like a fox what i was doing like a fox silently i am keeping my uh, food on the grass so that uh, an animal could not make out uh, means uh, that any uh, uh, other person are entered into the sanctuary so writer he was walking like a fox very silently okay camouflage camouflage is a disguise camouflage so uh, then he said that i heard the noise of langur langur is a monkey so big big langurs they started making different types of noise okay sometime they were making uh, chak chak no noise sometime they were making khak khak noise so like the, the that uh, that uh, langurs the uh, he started giving the alarm call to their uh, means uh, party members and uh, langur gave alarm call there was an uproar in the forest when the langur gave different types of uh, noise khak uh, khak chak chak so what happened it means that uh, some danger is go, uh, going to be happened uh, so might be lion or the predators animals lion leopard uh, they might uh, attack uh, these uh, langurs uh, family so they what happened so all the langurs they started running uh, on the uh, tree and they catching their br branches so uh, so that they could save them uh, uh, save themselves from the uh, predators animals there was a pro in the forest leopard of ambazara was out of its uh, secret uh, place lair is secret place so writer he says that uh, when the langur gave call so i understood uh, quickly that leopard is out of his secret place so leopard is out of his home so he, uh, leopard is searching the uh, predators he is about to hunt the animals so here the writer he understood that leopard of Am ambazara is not not uh, living in the home but it is out of its uh, home and he is uh, searching the uh, uh, prey okay so in this way secret place so writer he discovered a scared waste of leopard so writer he says that uh, i discovered a scared scared you know waste of uh, leopard 
so uh, uh, waste of excretory uh, part of the body which was released by the uh, leopard it was lying there and uh, bees were hovering around bees were hovering around and in this way he could make out the leopard is nearby it is not far away from him so it is nearby uh, of the writer he discovered antelope deer antelope is a one kind of deer okay so uh, it is having the horns four horns uh, okay antelopes uh, and uh, antelopes antelopes is having like this huh like this shape they are having no huh? antelope antelope okay antelope so they are having this uh, type of uh, okay uh, uh, four four type of in the main horn there is a two two horns so antelope he noticed the antelope is there and uh, uh, this uh, deer is about uh, to be hunted by the uh, leopard so in this way in the first passage the writer he has narrated his experience how he entered in the forest and what he saw okay in the first passage the writer uh, he has spent how much eight and half hours journey so uh, the forest is very big he uh, walk near about how many uh, eight and half hour journey and in this way the, the writer feel uh, felt very exhausted so uh, the, i have written some name of wildlife sanctuary okay wildlife sanctuary bandipura national park it is in karnataka state karnataka then next uh, kaziranga national park it is in assam uh, then jim corbett national park is in uttarakhand and ranthambore national park in rajasthan and uh, kanha national park is in madhya pradesh okay so in this way the writer uh, he has uh, shared the wildlife sanctuary so in the first passage we uh, we uh, we come across towards the writer visit writers entry into the ambazara forest and whatever he has uh, seen in the ambazara forest uh, that he has reflected in, in the first passage and he says that i was walking just like a fox okay uh, very silently and uh, it is a tactics whenever we are entering in the forest so we must be very cautious we must uh, the, keep patience okay we must uh, uh not uh, we should not make a haste in the forest okay and the second thing is that discipline discipline is very important whenever we are entering in the forest or any sanctuary okay so dis uh, discipline is the part of uh, the writer's life and he says that discipline is very important when he entered and he, uh, then he, what happened the monkey they started making noise and they started uh, giving a, a huge uproar okay and all the uh, uh, animals they uh, they got the alarm call and they become cautious so this is the main idea of the first uh, passage now let us have a glance on the over the text <coughs> the eight and a half hour long day inside the height was a fruitful of the jumbo tree where standing uh, tall on the edge of ambazara before wrapping up my day at this natural uh, <coughs> water hole I took entries of the avifauna in my field notes since I was alone I rushed to Pitzari village where I was stationed I came of late the hide took my essential came out of the hide and stretched out to my heart's content I lifted my camera and bag and took the familiar trail to Pitzari so writer <coughs> he is saying that <coughs> I spent how many 8 and 1/2 hours hours in this journey uh, and uh, later on what happened writer he was camouflage he disguised himself so that the other animal could not uh, means uh, uh, make out uh, means any hunt, hunter predator animals is uh, coming in the forest so he came of flesh and he rushed to the pitzari village from the forest he entered and there was a one pitzari village so he was about to uh, go at the pitzari village he uh, started jotting down the names of the different kinds of birds avifauna species of the forest in his notebook okay then next uh negotiating the web leaves of the tea coot mohor mohor trees trying to make uh, minimal sound i was uh, treading cautiously among the uh, woods so writer he was walking very silently he was walking very silently in the forest so without making any noise so there was a tea coot leaves over there there so very often uh, we might have seen dry leaves uh, are lying on the uh, floor of the forest so when we keep uh, the leg so what happened it uh, makes the rustling noise sound so uh, with the help of that rustling noise what will happen animal uh, they will become very cautious means uh, some predators uh, uh, hunters are coming in uh, in the forest uh, though, so that they can uh, attack uh, them so that's why they become very cautious i was alone here like a fox right i said that i was walking just like a fox so how fox is uh, known for its cunningness okay 
following the trial uh, silently watching with hide open eyes my ears were gasping of a variety of sound just when a familiar sound stunned me khek 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 they started uh, making the no noise langur the langur uh, they started making noise and in this way all other langurs they become cautious they become very active in this way this langur gave alarm call to their fellow companion okay and uh, you might have seen in the discovery channel uh, when any hunter leopards or lion tigers they are coming in the sanctuary what happened uh, the, the main langur uh, who is uh, seated at the top of the tree and uh, the, what will happen he will notice uh, okay uh, predators animals are coming in their sanctuary so they started making noise so all other langurs they become active and in this way they are sitting on different different branches okay so that is a alarm call okay khek khek chek chek like that they are making so uh, the, this is the language of the animal and that animal can understand better it was a langur alarm call the leader of the gang of a langur was sitting on the tall tree making alarm call out of the fear uh, fear of for life so rest other uh, langur they started uh, the, the means of fear fear was arose and uh, the, they thought that might be uh, the lion or tiger they will come then what will happen they will attack them so in this way there is a fear uh, in the forest langur bigot continued raising the alarm call the network of alarm call was expanding its range as the petrified langur petrified means very frightened it is given in your textbook for, uh, very frightened all the langurs were frightened they were shocked now what is going to happen uh, okay uh, means uh, the this leopard uh, very often you might have seen leopards uh, uh, can climb over the tree okay after climbing what happened uh, they are <coughs> making the prey to other langurs so in this way they were frightened spitted to trees near and far and and secured their places on tree top all the upheaval was created upheaval means huge uproar noise was there Uh, by only one animal's presence of a leopard many animals make alarm call when they see a predator tiger or leopard nearby the langur is most liable when it comes to finding clues about the presence of the apex predators in the jungle the mighty ilazu ilazu means difficult to understand ilazu ilazu means difficult to understand here i am writing ilazu ilazu difficult to understand difficult to understand so what happened sometime at the time of uh, summer season uh, we might have seen uh, the grass become yellow okay and the spotted body of leopard is also yellow so what happened uh, this animal they could not make out uh, that uh, predator animal leopard is nearby and very easily <coughs> that leopard attacks the animal and in this way uh, the, they are doing the hunting okay of the animal so <coughs> illusive means difficult to understand this animal they cannot understand that uh, their predators are nearby apex uh, apex means topmost the mighty illusive leopard of ambazara was out of its lair he was on the prowl prowl means make round make around an area quietly the still thinly moving figure is spotted gold black <coughs> clock was spied by this langur even the small ones from the legions langurs were giving alarm call chak 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 so in this way what happened legion means great number of people so this langur langurs are the most reliable animal in the forest to give the alarm call to other animals also okay whenever they are making this noise to other animals deer uh, giraffe uh, zebra uh, okay uh, elephant so all other animals they become very active and uh, these langurs are the most reliable source of uh, alarm for the other animals and in, in this way the leopard is searching their uh, prey means uh, hunt okay i stayed out got the leader's langur target site and stunned the area visually uh, took uh, some step stop again a fresh scat was lying before me on the trail uh, the bluish purple flies were hovering over it i was sure that the leopard was somewhere near the distant alarm call and four horned antelope was adding to the chaos so what happened he discovered the scat scat as just now i told you uh, means animal dropping okay uh, excretory material which the animals release from the body and honey uh, uh, sorry uh, this uh, bees are hovering around uh, that scat i was sure that uh, and there was an antelope deer was there the deer was eating the grass then uh, i spotted that uh, uh, around the 15 meters stop 
uh, I had apparently entered in the sanctum san uh, sanctorium of a miracle called the leopard, but the big cat was not visible. It as an it is an illusive animal. The surroundings were reminding me that I was all alone time and again. As I moved forward on the trial, trial means way. To Pizzari, the fading alarm calls were still heard in the background. I still instinctively the, saw that the leopard had moved away. So, writer, uh, he said that 15 meters away from me, I spotted the leopard. But leopard was taking the shelter into the yellow grass so that the animal uh, could not uh, means understand uh, he is uh, coming nearby. So in this way, he saw that antelope was there grazing on the grass and uh, leopard was there. Leopard wa uh, was uh, nearby 15 meters uh, away from the writer. It is uh, not far away from the writer. Trail means way. way. So in the, uh, this is the main idea of the first passage. Okay. So now let us have a glance on the second passage. So in second passage, uh, we will come across towards the writer. He says that uh, I was uh, uh, the writer. Uh, he says that uh, I was stranded in the forest. I could not make out the way how to reach towards the Pizzari village. So Pizzari village uh, from the forest uh, from, uh, from from the forest uh, when uh, he uh, entered into the forest at that time there is a hillock. So after crossing the forest, the, there is a Pizzari village. So uh, he was stranded. He could not make out the way. And writer, he is in a dilemma. So what to do now? So leopard is uh, 15 meters away from him. So uh, in this way, writer, he put himself into the uh, risk. So the writer, he encountered the leopard. He saw the leopard. He met Raju escape from Pizzari village. So Raju escape, who is this man? This man is the local of the Pizzari village. He comes in the forest very often to collect the uh, woods, dry woods. Okay. Uh, he saw tiger and sloth bear. The writer he saw tiger and sloth bear in the uh, forest. Writer accompanying with uh, Raju, he accompany. He got the company of Raju, and that Raju he helped the writer to come out of the forest. Okay, because he is the local. He knows each and every uh, mystery, each and every uh, trial way. He was lost in the forest. Writer was lost in the forest. And boop sounds of cockle bird and robin bird are the attention of the writer. So this uh, 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 cockle bird, cockle bird and ro robin, uh, robin bird, they were singing a song, and it arrests the mind of the writer into the forest. And this man Raju escape. He help him to come out of the clutches of the wild animals in the forest. Okay. Now let us have a glance on the te uh, text. Meanwhile, I saw a standing at a distance with a stick in his hand. As I approached, uh, he appeared, spook. Spook means frightened. Due to alarm calls of the leopard, uh, we greeted each other. Uh, he was Raju escaped from Pizzari. He had uh, come to collect logs. Log means woods. But retreated due to uh, the leopard's movement. Retreated means take a refuge, means shelter. Woods means woods. Logs, hair logs means wood, forest, wood or you can say forest. He is coming in the forest so as to uh, collect the uh, woods. Log, logs means woods, forest. Hmm. Okay. Then next, reiterated. Reiterated means take a refuge. Reiterated. Hey, meaning is reiterated. Retreated means uh, take refuge. Refuge. I am writing in short. Refuge. Take a refuge. So what happened after looking the tire, leopard in the forest? What happened? They took a refuge uh, for some moment. They uh, they were stand still at the the place at the hide, and from there they were seeing the 15 meter away. The leopard was there. Next. Raju was amazed at my regular solitary visit to Ambazara. When the Raju he comes to know, he greeted with Raju. Uh, then he comes to know uh, the writer. He is coming alone in the forest. So uh, what happened? He was uh, shocked. He is coming alone. And uh, that uh, wild animals uh, may attack at any time to the writer. So he was amazed. The solitary visit of Ambazara, of the writer. Then next, tiger, leopard and sloth bear, we hope and uh, under a kusum tree to take a break. So kusum tree, near by the, under the sh sh shadow of kusum tree, they took a uh, shelter for a time being. We both felt a bit relaxed, 
now we were four eyes uh, four hands with a stick then we both resume our walking tour so they were having one stick and in this way the writer says that now we are having uh, four eyes means two persons are there means uh, two two eyes and uh, 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 means uh, two two hands and uh, they are having the stick so uh, what happened the writer he got some time of uh, relaxation when he met the raju escape so as to find a way trail in the forest there was one tiny track and the both out of the main trail i will take out this route you go straight said raju and uh, and turn night i kept walking uh, straight uh, until i climbed a familiar hill lock hill lock means a small hill i crossed the cement uh, pillar and stone stacked by forest department corporation to make the mark of the bounty of forest department took the trail so the writer <coughs> he was climbing over, over the small small hill lock small small hill lock so as to find the way Yeah, because the uh, forest is too much dense, so the, it uh, it uh, become very difficult for the writer to find the way. So he took the help of the hillock, a small small hill where there. So he was climbing there and he was searching the uh, route so as to reach at the uh, Pitzadi village. After climbing down, <coughs> walk across a beautiful mahua trees, looked with reddish brown leaves. The ground under the tree was uh, clean, very well. The thought instantly. for a flash in my mind i would lost my way next moment i found another dusky trail uh, i took uh, that trail which took me from narrow gorge of an open uh, field the area was surrounded by hillock of dry deciduous tropical forest i turned back to the spot the sun the geographical west was set the dusky trail had vanished good heavens i was lost completely lost in the jungle that two very dreadful time the sun was melting down like a fleeting runner soaked in my uh, sweat i felt like a shouting of my heart's content but there was no other soul to listen to my uh, sound in this wilderness i had two bags with me the shabnam bag having the camera and the other was a small colorful handle made bag used uh, the village to carry tiffin Uh, i feel uh, like having it the blossom of box wood trees the boop boop of the cockle bird sound of the robin appeared aligned to me so heart's content so what happened the writer says that i was having camera tiffin bag but i was too much exhausted so i wanted to eat uh, the food but what happened uh, he could not eat it he was too much exhausted so what happened he want some time uh, time of uh, relaxation so the raju escape he help him uh, to uh, get out of the forest so vocal birds were making different different sound and in this way the, uh, to some extent they have released the disappointment of the writer this cockle bird and uh, robin song it arrest the attentions of the writer so in this way the writer in the second passage what happened uh, he got the company of uh, that uh, local man and uh, he helped him a lot and in this way he comes out of the uh, forest and he reach towards the pitzeri village so in the third passage we will come towards the climax of the first part of the story is that the writer uh, when he saw the village there was a uh, light lightning and some marriage ceremony was going on so after looking all these thing there was a, a, a big sigh of relief for the writer and it is a big ray of hope, hope for the writer okay so uh, in this way uh, when he saw that uh, marriage song was uh, was running in the village so what happened uh, the writer he felt very much happy and he uh, reached to the pitzeri village now let us have a glance over the <coughs> passage number 3 <coughs> he climb on the tree to find the safe route okay the writer he climb on the tree and he found the safe route he found dropping of sloth bear then what happened dropping of sloth bear dropping means that only scat okay excretory waste material of the body uh, that sloth bear uh, okay he found there uh, it was tired uh, he was tired and exhausted writer was too much tired and exhausted okay then he found the mark of bicycle wheel on the trail bicycle wheel he found bicycle wheel on the trail trail means way trail means way he uh, when he saw on the way there is a trail uh, bicycle wheel so then uh, what happened he comes to know there are uh, means human beings uh, existence are there means uh, human beings are coming to the forest so it means that pitzeri village is nearby when he saw this bicycle wheel so he got the clues it was a ray of hope it is a big sigh of relief it is a big uh, means mental satisfaction for the writer it was a, a big ray of hope for the writer 
he stumbled and fell down and saw dropping of blue bull then what happened he saw one uh, another dropping of blue bulls in the forest sloth bear blue bull and he was too much tired he fell down and he uh, took the uh, rest sign of civilization was visible then what happened from the hillock when he uh, comes down he uh, he was very much tired and exhausted his leg was paining he was uh, his uh, sweat was coming from his body so the writer he saw the sign of civilization uh, means what there uh, means the pitzari village is nearby uh, he uh, he noticed that human peasants are nearby then raja ram uh, balavis marriage ceremony was going on he heard the song he heard the song and marriage ceremony was going on in the village and in this way when he heard the song so what happened uh, he felt some kinds of relaxation so in this way the writer he come out from the clutches of the wild animals uh, uh, with the help of uh, raju escape and when he heard the mere song then what happened uh, he felt uh, he uh, uh, he gave vote of thanks to the almighty god who have saved him from the clutches of the wild animals so this is the main idea of the passage number 3 it was more than an hour i was still there searching for a suitable tree to climb and get secure turn back to the trail you left my mind was telling me but there were no sign of the trail i had no other way to climb the hillock before me there were more hillocks and more around the same i standing near the feet were dried up dropping of the sloth bear sloth bear of ambazara must be in open sniffing for food i cautioned myself thinking of averting all sorts of eventuality i made a move i ran down to the hillock and i climb up at a frantic speed the west was to the right hand side now the evening breeze flew through my wet curled hair my stomach was aching i i kept walking in hope so his stomach was uh, means uh, a large amount of sweat was coming from his body and his stomach was uh, paining so he saw the sloth bear is he sniffing here and there he is searching for food okay this wild animal they are having a uh, very extreme power of anything uh, with the help of their sense with the help of uh, their nose they can smell okay 55 kilometers away uh, 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 what is happening okay 55 kilometers away uh, they can uh, make the judgment uh, there is a uh, pre for the, for them then, then what will happen they will reach at the spot uh, their eyes power is uh, too too much strong okay so almighty god has given them uh, this much power uh, hearing smelling uh, okay uh, by uh, seeing so all these uh, <coughs> sense uh, sense sensory organs are very powerful so th- then next after around <coughs> 50 step i found two bright red soil trail i found my silver lining in this trail there were marks of bicycle wheel that was big consolation for me there must be a village nearby i reassured myself more question uh, how far is the village and in which direction i climbed one more hillock and tried to locate the sign of human civilization my legs were trembling as i reached the top of the hill i j- jumped with joy i heard the sounds of people uh, t- uh, talking in the loudspeaker in a jiffy i ran jiffy means very soon i ran down hill towards the sound and full vigor energy i stumbled and fell down uh, saw dropping of the blue bull nearby I struggled I stood up and decided which direction to move on the signs of civilization were visible tiny sl- sleepy villages of pitzari was visible through the green woods the lanterns of uh, rajaram balavis farm loud speaker installed for keso balavis marriage all were in the clear sight turn left to the spot the village lake of and family hill of the dog barked to welcome me to the village the first thing i uh, did was to take a bath the shaking of limbs uh, had lessened a bit the stomach ache started again ate the full and then slumped on to a cot lying awake uh, looking at the star studded sky i spoke to myself there still exists a jungle where we can get lost isn't this our good luck so in this way the writer he says that uh, when i saw the marriage uh, song was Uh, and uh, some uh, light uh, from the hillocks so then uh, what happened i got a big consolation <coughs> there is a human civilization uh, still existing uh, and in this way he reached at the pirzari village so he was too much tired and exhausted and then uh, what happened he was stumbled oh, he could, could not walk properly stumble means could not walk properly and he fell down he saw the uh, blue bulls uh, dro- droppings then uh, then uh, then he says that the tiny village was sleeping when i uh, entered into the village so dog started barking at me so the, uh, it was as if they were making my welcome in the village uh, and the whole village uh, villagers were sleeping 
so the marriage ceremony of uh, this uh, Raja Ram and Kesho Bellavis was going on. So in this way, uh, when I come down, so at that time I got the consolation. I started gazing at the sky, and in this way I took the bath. After the bathing, what happened? I got some relief uh, from the pain. Then I took uh, uh, the dinner, okay, uh, fully. I ate and I uh, took uh, uh, my nap, sleep on the cord. So in this way, the writer he is saying that. With the help of that man, the Raju Kesh, uh, the uh, escape, he come out of the forest, and the journey of the forest is quite an uphill task. It is not easy for for a common man to enter. So, we are into the forest. When we are entering in the forest, we must keep the patience. Uh, we cannot uh, 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 break the discipline uh, because uh, uh, in the forest, the wild animals are having the area. They are the, okay sanctuary. They may uh, attack us. So, uh, we should. Uh, be very much uh, cautious while entering into the forest and for forest uh, taught the writer uh, the sense of patience uh, the art of walking uh, it also uh, teach them the discipline okay when we are walking in the forest all th these things should uh, be uh, be uh, kept in our mind so in this way the writer he has uh, narrated his uh, this travel log uh, okay his travel in the forest and whatever he has seen he has uh, shared his experience in our text so this is the main idea of our passage number third. So dear student, if you are having any doubt or queries, then you please give your comment on our comment box section of the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.